Hello, hello, my darlings. I lost all my footage from uh, last week, so I just want to re-record this. I'm sorry that I am behind the camera again. Um, I really don't love doing this, but yeah, you know what? I hate when I lose the footage, so let's just roll with it. I am... All I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna show you my most worn fragrances of the month because it's the end of the month again. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first fragrance, let me get down a little bit. The first fragrance I have is Luca Marie from Kana. And I mainly wore it uh, because it was new in my collection. Uh, but also I love it so, so much. So this is the less sweet uh, from the range of those blue bottles. Uh, we have Marbella and we also have Ibiza Nights and this one is the least sweet and this one is so gorgeous and so long lasting. I really really love it. It's like aromatic citrus with a little bit of sweetness. I think there's also some hibiscus in the dry down. Very very good fragrance. So if you're interested in summery scents still, then I highly suggest you check out Luca Marie. I've really been loving it in the highest heat of summer because there's a massive heat wave here in Europe and we've been suffering. So yeah, Luca Marie really saved my ass many times when I wanted to feel refreshed. So that's the first one. And of course, as you guys know, for Carner, you have a discount code from me to you in the description box really really good bank for your buck so that's Lucomori. the next one that i have is razazi jasmine wisp oldie but a goodie and i know this is a supposed dupe for kirke from tiziana terenzi it's also quite similar um to erba pura however to be very honest with you this is my favorite from all of them even though it's the cheapest and it's a so-called dupe this is my favorite it's like the most sweet feminine and it also has a nice ambery dry down with a lot of tonka and it also has coconut that's I feel like the most prominent out of them all so that's why I really really love it and this is a beast it has a massive projection and sillage and it's also a great 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 compliment getter so I really love it um, I don't wear it in winter it's too summery for me However, um, even though it's strong, it's like my perfect summer night out scent or something. But it's very fruity. It's like passion fruit bomb, again, with coconut, tonka, amber. There are some white florals, but um, you're not going to really smell it that much. It's mainly a fruity scent, but it's really lovely. So that is Jasmine Wisp. The next one, a lot of you guys have been asking about it when I said I have a good dupe for Oud Satin Mood when it comes to oils. And this is the one. Uh, I'm actually wearing it today. This is from Perfume Oil Expressions. Come on, focus. Focus. You have to believe me. Okay, there we go. Finally, the camera managed. <laughs> Perfume Oil Expressions, Rose Oud 1970. This is a very good perfume oil if you are looking for a Oud Satin Mood dupe. It's one-to-one -one, uh, and very long-lasting. So if you're on a hunt for fragrances like Oud Satin Mood, then try this out. You know, oils are not my favorite thing because I love to spray myself all over. Uh, however, this one really does project. So I put it, I basically slap it all over my skin and it's good. I'm very happy with it, so check it out. They are very inexpensive but very good quality and they are from Australia. So that is Perfume All Expressions, another one that I've discovered this month and I've been really loving. Um, next I have two fragrances. I'm sorry that I'm showing you uh, two fragrances from one brand, but here we go. It's from Only Nomad and the first one is Meume de Die. And the second one, you could say they are in the same family. Um, there are slight differences, obviously, but they're in the same family. It's like a tropical floral. And love from first sight. Love at first sight, sorry. Um, so this one is like purple florals, like lilacs and acacia. 
and this one is more like frangipani, tiare, so like your typical, typical uh, tropical florals, you know, but both of them are just exceptional. This one has very nice projection and lasts all day, whereas Mume de Die also lasts all day, but maybe it's a little bit more soft. I'm not sure though, because I get compliments on both of them, and I feel like this one is just smelled in the air a little bit more. However, the lasting power is equal on both of them. I love it so much. If you love passion fruit, uh, then you will love this and actually this love at first sight will mix incredibly well with Razazi Jasmine Wisp even the bottles match so That's a great combo. I love it Whereas Murmur Didier is like your absolutely perfect tropical floral with some vanilla uh, Some people compare. Oh, sorry. I I actually uh, move the camera a little bit. I hope you're fine. Sorry guys. Um, this one is quite similar but way less dense and more wearable um, to Paris Monte Carlo Elang Nozibi. Uh, quite similar. Similar vibe but it's not as cloying because to me that Paris Monte Carlo is a little bit cloying. This one is so wearable. So I highly recommend you check it out if you love your tropical flowers. And of course, here you have vanilla, which is always a massive plus for me. So yeah, these are the two from Ennui Nomad that I've been wearing a ton. And of course, for Ennui, I also have a discount code for you guys. So yeah, if you are on a hunt um, for those beautiful French Japanese scents or some acacia and fruitiness, then you will love it. This one, I would say it's more creamy. And this one is more fruity punchy okay so again these two mix so so well I love it all of them and I have been wearing them so much I don't I know you don't see that much of a dent but you know that's why I do what I do right <laughs> okay next one is a very expensive fragrance but I've been getting so many compliments from my mom and my boyfriend that I keep wearing it and this is um, Mask Therapy from Inicio. And every time I showcase this, you guys tell me the same thing that you agree with me. That it's way overpriced, however, it is indeed a very nice scent. So this one is a musky, fruity, think of black blackcurrant, um, plush, cozy scent. But it is appropriate for summer. It's like a clean one. But you get that nice uh, punchy fruitiness as well. I really, really like it. What I simply think is that, um, you know, you do have similar scents with a lower price. It's just not very complex, you know what I mean? But it is really, really nice. And I must say, it is long-lasting. So, at least that. <laughs> and the bottle is beautiful. So, I've been wearing this so, so much like a crazy person. So... This one I really, really loved wearing. Um, what else? Okay, I'm going to give you a sneak peek for the haul that is coming up. And I'm going to tell you more about it in the haul. But I just need to show you because I've been wearing it like crazy. And this is a dupe for something I love. And that is Mugla Angel Iced Start. That's discontinued. And this is Arabic brand. It's not even $20 and this is called Zina from the brand Kalis. So this one is a big secret of mine that's now revealed and I'm going to tell you more in a proper haul of new fragrances. Um, but yeah, Zina is a perfect dupe for Mugler's Angel Ice Star, which is piña colada in a bottle. It is coconut praline. It is milky yet very fruity and pineapple-y. It is just heaven, truly, truly heaven. By the way, the cap is different. Um, when you buy it, you will have a different cap, like a normal plain black cap like this. Uh, I just changed it to one from Navitus <laughs> because it just looks better with a gold one. I didn't really like the black cap it came with, uh, but bottle aside this fragrance is insane 
and when I sampled it, just sampled it in a video, you guys went so crazy that the website I shopped it at raised the price for this immediately and then within 48 hours it got sold out completely so thank goodness i managed to get two bottles of this because you guys just didn't hold back at all so i don't know what's gonna happen now uh, but yeah xena is phenomenal phenomenal i don't know why um people don't talk about it if you love ice star from mugler then you'll be in heaven uh you know what the the peace came to earth. Xena is here. Um, we don't have to cry over a discontinued flanker of Mugler. So yeah, check it out. It's so good. So, so good. And it's not even $20. Can you imagine? And it's 100 mil. So very, very nice. Um, what else do I have? Oh, actually, with that same video, I showed you my new fragrance from Latafa. And that is Haya. And many of you say it is a dupe for Viva La Juicy from Juicy Couture and I totally get it. Yeah, uh, you guys are definitely onto something. This is quite similar. However, I truly prefer Haya, mainly because it has a nice champagne nose that makes this whole fragrance quite zingy and bubbly. I really, really like it. So uh, with Haya, you get quite a moderate longevity and projection. I wouldn't say this fragrance is a beast at all, uh, but it's not bad either. And again, another one that's around 20 bucks. So I highly recommend that. Beautiful, fruity, gourmandy, sweet, girly, very, very girly fragrance. If you were a fan or still are of Juicy Couture fragrances, then you will really like it. And the whole bottle is velour which I love. I love the bottle, I must say. I love it. And it's good for summer. Uh, if you want something sweet for the heat, then this one is good. So that is Haya. The next one that I've been abusing and I need to stop because I'm running out is this. And that is the Chronic Rouge Extreme from Byron. And for Byron, you do have a discount code. You guys have been asking, and yes, I do have an active discount code for Byron as well. You get um, around 10% off, I think it is, Paulina 10, uh, and it's linked below for you. So you can get it with a discount actually, because yeah, you, you guys have been asking a lot for Byron. Um, but yeah, back to the fragrance. The Chronic Rouge Extreme is the ultimate Barbie scent. It is fruity, like a raspberry, but not sour. It is very smooth and delicious and super feminine, very sweet, very girly. It does have a deeper base, but nothing too much. However, it does last forever on your skin and it's just beautiful. This is one of the most feminine fragrances that I own in my collection. So this one is phenomenal and as you guys can see, I've been very naughty with it. Uh, I mean, it, it's still a lot, but I really used a ton. So I really need to stop myself. Thank God the sprayer is like a fine mist, so I don't spray too much at once. But, oh guys, this is too good to be true. This is my favorite fragrance at the moment, I feel like. So yeah, Byron, the Chronic Rouge Extreme, fantastic. What else do we have? Uh, another fragrance that I love mixing is Olympia Solar in combination with Fame, also from Paco, the original Fame. So this makes it so much nicer than Fame is on its own. Uh, I feel like Fame really needed my Olympia. It doesn't matter if it's the Solar one or the original one. I like to mix it with any Olympia. And this is basically a woody mango scent that's very sweet, but it just goes so well with that slight saltiness and vanillic touches from Olympia. This is a match made in heaven. So if you haven't tried it on your skin already and you own both, then you absolutely have to. To me, this is a great combo. Um, those two together make it so special on your skin. 
it's like summer in a bottle but with a nice twist I love it I really really love it when I am a little bit bored with Olympia I put some fame on and I'm good to go or if I want to make fame a little bit more me I again put Olympia with it and I'm so happy with this combination very very good one I feel like they have been created to be mixed with each other to be honest so yeah that is the combo of the month uh, this is my most used combo in terms of like two fragrances together right uh, right with the only nomad and Razazi combo so yeah these are so nice and even the bottles match so well so yeah <laughs> that's that um, what do we have next, my darlings? Oh, this. I'm just going to quickly mention, I've been using this one a ton and I definitely need to stop because look what happened. Ridiculous. But I love Mont Paris from YSL. I'm definitely going to repurchase. I am already thinking of getting a backup. This is how much I love it. Uh, on me, this is the most beautiful strawberry rose fruit truly that ever existed. It almost smells like it's um, it's like a very ripe scent. You know what I mean? The strawberries are ripe. Um, the florals are ripe. Everything has like this end of summer darkness to me. And some Parisian chic to it. So I love it. Uh, and very long lasting. Believe it or not, it's very long lasting. So yeah, YSL Mont Paris, another one that I have used a ton, as you can see clearly. And another one, this is almost the last one, Kind Intentions, of course, this is my baby. One of the best summer vanillas that you can encounter in your life. It is a little bit marine, but it is also vanilla and powdery and slightly floral. It is just so good. If you love a combination of incense and vanilla and a little bit of iris, but also that slight, slight Baccarat Rouge vibe, and that um, marine touch from seaweed, you will love it. And there's also some hay to it. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. With Navitus, use my discount code if you decide to purchase because um, just don't buy just like that. Just always use the discount code because you will save some money at least. Um, but yeah, kind intentions. Um, I feel like it's starting to get it, the love that it deserves. So I'm very, very happy about it. So yeah, Kind Intentions has been on my usual role. Obviously, it's my fragrance created with Jerome de Marino. So I really love it and I love the bottle and my boyfriend uses it almost every day. So that is that. Next, I have Bouquet Encore from Orchestre Parfum. And I really, really love the brand, I must say. At the moment, they agreed to have a discount for you and it's going to be available until the 5th of September. So it's not much time left. So if you do want to purchase anything from Orchestre Parfum, mm. if it's this or any other, then use my discount because I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon again. So yeah, with Bouquet Encore, this is like the best um, summery effortless tuberose it's a little bit spicy to me it's like a mix between um, passoire from BDK and some sort of tuberose fragrance like uh, Lanta D from Givenchy you know what I mean so so nice actually let me smell it oh yeah yeah this to me is like a mix between passoire and Lanta D such a good scent and very easy to wear. If you're just starting with tuberose, then I suggest you check this one out because it's very good, very good quality scent. And I really like the brand. I am eyeing so many from their range and I'm definitely going to showcase to you as soon as I get it. So yeah, that's lovely. Bouquet Anko has been my tuberose of choice last month and this month. And uh, I think this will be the last one, I promise. Just quickly, uh, Juliet has a gun pair incorporated. Uh, the best fresh pair. It has a lot of ambrette and musk. And I think this is why I love it so much. 
this is way better than uh, God is a Woman from Ariana. This is better than pretty much any other pair, like simple pair fragrance that I've tried. The price is still good for Juliet Has a Gun fragrances, especially online. So I really don't mind. And I find that this is a very fresh, very easy scent, perfect for gym, for walks in the summer. You know what I mean? Running errands, just everyday wear. Uh, but this one actually lasts. And I love the sweetness of it combined with that almost aquatic like freshness. It's just all good. <laughs> Uh, I know Juliet has unisex fragrances, but to me this is straight up feminine. Just think of a better version of God is a Woman by Ariana. That That's what it is to me. So yeah, Juliet Has a Gun is last on my list. I think that's it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Here's the whole shebang from today. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and by the way I have a new palette from Natasha Denona that I really want to show you so I'm, I might do a tutorial and uh, I also cleaned my drawers yesterday look at that look at that talk about organized love me some order in my drawers anyways guys thank you for watching and I see you in my next video I think it might be a haul um, or top corner Barcelona perfumes. I'm not sure yet, but I hope you enjoy it anyways. And yeah, have a great day or night whenever you're watching. Love you guys. Bye.